While we're on the green stripe theme, we'll do some three sip sparring alone for green stripe syllabus. Green stripe syllabus has two way three sip sparring counter attacking with the hands and one way three sip sparring counter attacking with the feet. So we'll do the, the one way counter attacking with the feet first. The examples in the book are all done in L stance. You don't necessarily have to use the examples in the book. Remember the principles are whatever stance you attack in, you must defend in the same stance, and whatever technique with which you attack, you must block the same technique, so you're mirroring yourself. Okay, so you might do one in L stance and then with attack and defense, and then one in walking stance, attack and defense. So the examples from the book, nice and simple. Remember, three set sparring, always the attacker prepares and walking stance for a low block, and the defender prepares in parallel ready stance, and you signal with a kip. to adjust each time because of the space that I have, no big deal there. I may have to adjust my distance because when my opponent's attacking with this technique and I block with my forearm here, lifting my front leg to kick, I'll be too far away and kicking with my back leg I'll be too close. So just a little shift with my back foot in, a little shift inward with my back foot can give me the distance I need to do a side front snap kick this way, or I can shift my front foot back so I can do a front snap kick this way. Okay. Technically, of course, your syllabus is a front snap kick, so you should probably do the former of those, uh, the, the latter of those two, step back into a front snap kick. So let's do that this time. So from here, Once more, the same one. I'll step back a little bit so I don't get quite so close to the camera. Number two attacks also with side punch, and then defense this time is knife hand guarding block. And the counter attack is stepping off to the side and throwing the turning dollar jump. So from here. Actually, it doesn't matter which way you step, I can step this way and use my right leg. Or I can step this way and kick with my left leg as long as I'm going for a target. Solar plexus is a beautiful target for that kick. Once more. With your step sparring, particularly when you're practicing alone, do the same one four or five times, then do the next one, rather than rushing through, because each time I want to get better at what I'm doing. So you do that by repetition. So rather than rushing through the whole lot, do one, repeat it half a dozen times, attack and defense, then do the next one. Third of the three is the side piercing kick. The attack this time is knife hand side strike. And the defense, one of the compulsory techniques, or sorry, one of the fundamental movements for green strike, for a moment block. And here you're usually at the right distance to throw your side piercing kick. I'm going to do that one on a slight angle so it's a bit easier to see. So you look further back. those half a dozen times each. Now two way three sets sparring with hands. Just do three of these. We can mix up the combinations. Use the ones from yellow belt are a really good example. So you can just use the examples from the book or you can do the ones that I'm about to do now. Remember with three sets sparring, two way, you attack forwards and then attack backwards. Then you defend backwards, counter attack. Defend forwards, counter attack. 
You may have trouble with your space in your room as I'm going to. I haven't quite got enough room to do this, so I have to adjust my stepping. Try to finish your stance, then adjust for the next stance, rather than doing shorter stances that get you into bad habits. So from here, three sets firing alone. There'll be a pause at the end after the third punch. I'm going to do these in walking stance. Now my adjustment. Backwards. And return. Now my counter attacks. I'm just going to do the first of the, the uh, basic three set sparring movements in a four minute walk, flat fifth can thrust. From here I'm going to need a bit more space behind me. So now through the whole thing, give myself more room moving forwards. Give myself some room to go backwards. first of the three set sparring movements. I can, because I'm going forward first and backward, give myself just enough room for a start backwards, and then let's move myself forwards and give myself room for three stances going backwards. Be very careful when you self-analyze that you've got big stances moving back. Very common, particularly for children, to have much smaller stances going back than they do going forward, also for beginners. So analyze that. You might want to put some marks on the floor got some time, put a little bit of takedown and step here, then step here. Get the stances nice and strong. Remember the measurement you can use. Four fist and your middle punch lines up with your third toe. Okay, now another example. We'll do middle punch again, nice and simple. This time I'm going to block with a forearm inward block because it's another nice, what's well, a nice movement from the syllabus. Give myself some more room. The right punch is coming first, so I'll block with my left arm and step back with my right foot. And then forwards. Again from here. That counter attack from that distance probably won't reach, but I'll do it anyway from here. I'm not so worried about the distance of my counter attack in three step. Two. And give myself space. see from that example the importance of doing the same one five to six times because the first time I got myself a little muddled up about which hand I was using but once I've done it the second or third time you can go through then you get improvement. Let's do one more this time I'll do a high punch with a knife hand side block and I'll counter attack by stepping off into an L stance knife hand side strike. The tricky thing here is when we're doing two way I've then got to bring my foot back to my previous position okay not so much Yes, because I'm going to step forward. So I have to adjust this foot and then step forward, otherwise it's going to be malaligned. So from here, high punch this time. Oh, think your change to a sitting stance to make that get a bit more reach with that movement because if I'm blocking here my strike here is not going to get enough much at your distance so I'll need to strike here and then adjust back so once more with that one 
High punch. You can see there the importance of repetition. So do one, do it half a dozen times, attack and defeat. Then do the next one. You've got three one way counter attacking with feet, three two way counter attacking with hands. Once you've done them all like that, then run through for one to six. Boom, 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 boom. Get them nice and clear in your mind. Do that two or three times. That'll take you about 15 minutes, and you'll be done for this section.